live, we're hearing from a couple who spoke with Anna and Brian Walsh often and noticed changes in their behavior in the months before Anna vanished. The couple are tenants who rented an apartment from the Walshes. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. The couple traded texts with Brian Walsh after Anna disappeared. WBG's Beth Romano is live for us in Cohasset tonight. And Beth, they say one of the conversations they had was really heated. And they say it was out of character and that the Walshes actually reneged on a promise that they could buy the rental unit. And now with the investigation unfolding here in Cohasset and beyond, they say their involvement with the Walshes now seems unreal. I've done all the work here, wash and dryer for him. Mike Silva says Brian Walsh and his wife Anna were more than landlords but trusted friends. Brian was very professional. He, like, he had me thinking he was an investor. He was always looking at the stock market. A contractor, Mike poured thousands of his own money into this unit in Revere. He and his fiance Mandy had been promised by the Walshes they could buy. But it all changed with a heated conversation December 29th when the couple realized the unit had been sold for cash to other buyers. And they said Anna's demeanor changed. It was out of character for the way that Anna was acting. She was being very protective. She was, you know, targeting us personally and saying, like, she should have done a background check on us. She should have checked our credit. Mike Silva says the Walshes owned a number of properties he helped with, like this one in Lynn, but was told they were recently selling off assets, which he thought was strange. I'm totally shocked. I'm like, uh, things were starting not, things that didn't add up was just starting to add up. He had texted the couple wishing them a happy new year and finally got this answer from Brian in a text two days later on January 2nd. Saying happy new year, sorry for the delay. I misplaced my phone and my son just found it. No mention of Anna, who was reported missing the next day. The couple says they had felt betrayed by the Walshes. And now with Brian facing charges of misleading the investigation and evidence uncovered at their home and in a landfill, they're not sure what to think. I can't take that argument back with Anna. So I feel guilty that I stuck up for me and my family only for this woman to go missing. And they were told they have until May to find a new place to live, but now the future seems uncertain. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll talk with a former federal prosecutor who says more charges could be forthcoming in this case, even if Anna Walsh isn't found. Reporting live from Cohasset, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Uh, thank you.